Yo, I uh, forgot my camera today, so that of course means I'm gonna find everything good today and it's gonna look like crap, but oh well, let's go. So all I found is this Johnny Bauer shirt, signed Johnny Bauer, you know. I don't know if it's worth even grabbing, it's $9.99. I don't know, man. Just found this 2000s Mickey Mouse watch. It's a Timex. But, $7.99. Can't really afford to make money off that. Just found this. It's a Harley button. I'm not sure what the dangly one is. I hope it's not like a wiener piercing or something weird. I'm not gonna get that because it's only $2.99. Well, it was a trash day there at Valley Village. The last few days have been awful. I'm gonna go hit the store that is never ever open because it's supposed to be open today unless they change their hours again. We'll see. Holy shit. They're actually open. First time in the last 30 years they're open. Let's go. Okay, well. Came to this store that's never open and it hit. This is a Panasonic or a Pentax K1000 camera, film camera. Then I got a bunch. I got the Hulk figure with the Lou Ferrigno signature, which is kind of fire. I might keep that. Then I got. Oops. Then I got this, which is Cal just a California on the Fruit of the Loom Best, single stitch. Got this, Moncton, Canada, single stitch. On, I don't know what that is. Got this, Florida, 1995 single stitch on Hanes 50-50 I got this Grand Canyon on the Onita Super Heavyweight single stitch 1995 and I got this Danica Patrick NASCAR shirt it's got a signature on the back, big GoDaddy logo. Alright, I'm just going to real quick show you what I got. This was a big score. This is a um, Pentax K1000. All this stuff was in the bag, okay? So I got in here is a light meter, a flash. These are all lens filters. This is another lens. This is a roll, these are all rolls of film. It looks like it's sealed, so I'm really hoping that's sealed because I need more film. Um, just a case, and then the piece de resistance. This is the Pentax K1000. This is a really, really, really good film camera, so. I paid 50 bucks for it. I don't think that was actually their price. I tried to talk the lady out of it because it says video camera and it's a still camera, but she didn't budge. So even at $50, I can at least quadruple my money probably on all this stuff. So we like that. Yo, it's the last day of the week. Hasn't been very good here. Let's see if the unlucky streak continues or not. This mountain shirt's pretty fire. Cool like acid wash. It's a printed tag though. It's not old. I don't know, I might put it in the cart. On this WWE shirt, house that AJ Styles built. It's 849 on a printed tag, so obviously it's modern, it's AJ Styles, but it might be worth grabbing, we'll see. Look at this embroidered graphic. If this fit me, I would definitely buy this. 
It's not vintage or anything, but just fire. Got another modern WWF E shirt. This one's not on a printed tag, so it's a bit older. It's all styles classic. Don't know if it's worth picking up or not. We'll see. Showing this nine inch nails tour shirt. It's really small. It's from 2013. I don't know about this one either. Pretty cool graphic, but the size is rough. We'll see. Just found these Air Max 200s, triple black. Actually in pretty good condition. They're only a size nine and a half. And they're $24. The sold comps are anywhere like 50 to 100, but at $23, I'm barely doubling my money, so not worth. Damn. Yesterday, Infinity Vintage picked this up, but I guess he decided not to grab yeah, it. Yeah, the Kugi. I don't know. I'm gonna pick it up for 18 bucks. Yeah. I think. Banger. Who oh, you want? Some fake Louis Vuitton, baby? Let's go. Balling. Straight balling. Found all of these sealed VHS, but I looked them all up. They're all bricks. Rip. All right, so I'm going through the stuff, trying to figure out what to keep and what to get. I'm trying to figure out why homie put this back yesterday. It looks good to me. Kugi's, Kugi are really good sweaters. They're really good brand. It's got a little mark there, but looks fine to me. I don't know. This thing's so heavy. It weighs a million pounds. So I'm gonna get that. Next up. This single stitch. I got shucked. Marina Raw Bar Restaurant Deck in North Myrtle Beach. This is a single stitch. I'm gonna get that. Four dollars. Still haven't decided on this nine inch nails. Don't think I'm gonna get it. I also don't know about this. My uh, one wrestling shirt I have already hasn't sold yet. I've had it for a while, so I might not get that. This one's the AJ Styles one. I can't tell if it's like distressed, like it's supposed to look distressed. I think it is. But this one's also 849, so I don't think I'm gonna get that either. This single stitch, $3.99. A little stretched at the neck, but other than that, it's good. That's a good, good pickup. Honestly, I might get this one for me. Do we think it'll fit? It's $8.49. I think I'm gonna buy this, just in hopes that it fits me, because I like it. But, I don't know. That's all we got here. I'm gonna go, I uh, have a max sold pickup at 11.30. Time is it right now? Oh, it's 11. Perfect. So I gotta go pick up, go, go run to St. George and do that pickup. So I'll see you there. Well, I just picked up the stuff that Max sold, and on the way in, I drove past a little mom and pop thrift shop. So I'm gonna stop and hit it. Fun fact A, this is the town I went to elementary school in, St. George, and this place right here used to be a New Orleans pizza, and Michelle actually worked there for a long time. We used to get free pizza all the time. It was fire. That was a long time ago, though. Just found these Chacos. They're in really good condition. I don't know what size they are. But, what size are they? Adult shoes four dollars and boots five. So that'd be four dollars. That's a good. Just found this cool vintage Exco button up. I think it's three dollars. I'm pretty sure all shirts are three dollars. So I'm gonna cop that. You go check this out. NBC like pullover jacket. It's got the arm hit champion. NBC Sports on the other arm. This is fire. 
he got another banger. Look at this. This is, sure. I think, 1990. Cool here. Adidas. Look at the tag. It says 907. Fire. Yo, I am glad I came. Look at this. Single stitch Florida Gators. That is fire. This is hidden. Hit and hit. You're good. Another crazy piece. Look at this. This button up. Nuts. Yo, look at this fire Exco. Definitely grabbing that. Bro, this is a MC Hammer shirt. 1992 World Tour. What? Clearly nobody's ever been to this store. Because I am hitting, hitting. Just found this red dog. It's from the 2000s. But the back hits fire. It's not single stitch, but I think all the shirts are $3, so I can't not get it. Just found these vintage Tommies. Can't really show them because my arm's full. Got a big rip in the pocket. In the knee though. Oh, and in the back. So, gonna have to pass, but they're nice. Well, that store hit real hard. But unfortunately, like a lot of small stores, they don't take credit card. So I have to run to the bank. But it's still worth it because, ooh baby, we hit. Holy moly, okay. So I went to the bank, realized that I don't have my debit card, which is really bad. But I had a um, $20 bill. So I went back and I was like, I'm just going to go through the bag and figure out what I can get to equal out $20. And the lady was just like, how about just take the bag since you've never been here before. Uh, just take the whole bag. So I think it was probably going to be about 40 bucks. So I got all that stuff for $20, which is nuts. So I donated, um, I had two bags of donations that I was saving for uh, the Salvation Army because they give such a good deal. But not that good of a deal like holy so i donated those two bags and you know still got a crazy deal so let's go well i know i said that was going to be my last thrift store but you know i accidentally ended up with salvation army it's not been doing so well for me this week but today's going to be the day yo as if i just found a sus grandma in branford too sus grandma's following me around I just found this cool backpack. I was like, oh, it doesn't look like anything. But inside, it's got, like everything for a picnic, which is honestly like really cool. Obviously it's, it's missing some stuff. And it's missing, I'm guessing like a thermos. They don't sell that great. I just thought it was pretty cool. Just found this, this OBJ jersey. But, so this is an XL, but that looks really small. And it's 15 bucks, so I don't think I can get that. But I also have way too many jerseys right now. So here's a Mad Engine, Captain America. Pretty fire. Mad Engine is home. Normally I'd skip this, but shout out to Homie for telling me Mad Engine's good to buy. So I'll grab that right now, test it out. Just found this Ray Lewis Baltimore Ravens jersey, but it's, it's pretty rough. $17. I don't think I can get that either. Too bad. This jacket is fire. Definitely real leather. It's so heavy. But it's 50 bucks. Crazy fire. It doesn't fit lucky because I was about to cop this. Just found these PNB jeans. PNB Nation from 2000s. They're pretty fire. Everybody's into like the patchwork jeans now, so I bet I could sell these, but they're $14.99, so too much to take a risk on. Too bad these jeans are $14.99 because these Echoes are fire too. It'd sell eventually. I got a lot of inventory right now, so. Damn. That's some American shit right there. I'm gonna have to get this. That'll definitely sell. Just found this extreme zone button up, $6.99. It's 
says it's a large, so I'm guessing it must be a kid's large. So, I don't think that's worth grabbing. If it was an adult large, definitely. Just from this, it's um inflatable, like, like a inflatable walls for like nerf fights and stuff. It's $5.99. I got that coupon, so I think I'm gonna grab it. Check this out. Simpsons Mystery of Life game. It's from 1990. Definitely gotta grab this. Just found um, Jabba the Hutt from 1997. But he's $7, so I'm gonna have to look it up. I don't think he's worth that. So I looked him up and he seems to sell for around 20 bucks as is so i guess we do get them i thought we just hit i found scarface the world is yours collector's edition i know for a fact this is like a 80 dollars game complete and i open it it's got the dvd but no game might still get it honestly i don't know if i'll be able to sell it without the game but might still grab it. Yo, back at the booth. Gotta go clean her up, it's Friday. My hair was just eating my face, but here we are, let's go. See you upstairs. Well, I ran out of time trying to get everything put into the booth because I got here really late, but here's what it looks like going into the weekend. The, the lights just went out. There's a beautiful new sewing machine. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. I didn't have time to get this done. There's a, I got the lock on it though, so we're good there. The Xbox is in. Got some new shirts. That's about it. Good morning, internet. My wife is here today. Finally, she's back. We're uh, gonna hit some garage sales. Let's see what's up. <laughs> hey. If it doesn't have a price on it, uh -huh. um, let's make an offer. Sounds good. It's this room, this room down here, and then the kitchen as well. Cool. Did you get that all? Yeah. This okay. Room and if it has no tag, let's make an offer. Sounds good. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Disney kids in it. Yeah, they were going to, but now mommy has to. Uh, no, I know. I bought them. Mm -hmm. What? The sweater? Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, mine are hilarious. <laughs> we sold all our antiques this morning. This whole table is full of antiques and someone uh, came and bought it all. Wow. <laughs> One person. Yes. What can I put to you here? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's good. Mm -hmm. That too. But I have this plant my friend that gave me. It was like this big. I'm afraid to move it really. Look at this. Holy doodle. That's a hoarder fun. collector. <laughs> a hoarder collector. <laughs> wow. I collect, but not like him. <laughs> We're trying to downsize our stuff. He has a wallet from his grandpa. I'm like, I'm like, you can get rid of this wallet from your grandpa's broken. <laughs> like, I understand the sentimentalness, but, uh, Let's keep some other things. How much are the VHS? Um, five dollars each. How much are these? Um, oh, this one's fully mangled. I will do five dollars for the both. What about and two dollars. So seven bucks. Yep. Okay. Here, so seven, okay. seven bucks, I think. Okay. I don't want to eat the rest of it. Oh, yeah. I forgot what the 10 looks like. 
I don't see cash anymore. <laughs> I know, right? And 13 Thank on, you. oh, sorry about that. No. On chain four, seven, right? Yeah, okay, I'm tired. I stayed up at 4.30 last night. You're good. <laughs> Later. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Yes, we do quite a lot. <laughs> What's your uh, channel name? It's called Time and Space Vintage. Just me. Uh, I'm not sure where Pepper is. Take a nap, I think, because it's really hot today. But um, I was just editing the video and then realized that we never finished. We never uh, did like a conclusion thingy because the garage sales were absolutely horrendous. We hit like I think eight or nine on Saturday morning, and they were all just doo doo. We only bought those three comics. The um, the Disney princess's shirt, which was really cool. That shirt's cool, the like knit. That was probably the coolest thing we got. And then Michelle got those um, placemat thingies that she likes. I think they're placemats, I'm not sure. They're like giant coasters. She got those. But all the other garage sales were just straight terrible. So, that was whatever. Um, the thrifts were okay. Uh, that Saint, The store in St. George was awesome. That's one of the best thrift store trips I've probably had. Um, it was kind of weird filming in there because it was so small and there was a good amount of people. So, uh, I didn't film that much, but it was good. And so was the... Yeah, so was kind of the rest of them. Honestly, they were all okay. There was nothing crazy this week that I hit. Um, in this video, at least. Um, but I just want to say thanks. To everybody who's been, you know, checking out our videos and leaving nice comments and saying cool stuff to us. Like, I've been going to the thrift stores as long as I can remember, you know. I used to hate going to the thrift stores and then, you know, just do something so often that it becomes kind of a part of you. And it's just like, I would much rather just buy thrifted clothes now than pay new. Like, you know, you just find cooler stuff. and. It's kind of weird now that it's cool to go to the thrift stores because it used to be like, you know, if you went to thrift stores, you're poor and, you know, people look down on you, but whatever. It's the way she goes. Things things come in weird rotations and what's not cool becomes cool and I'm sure, you know, five years from now, it'll be gross again and nobody will respect you for hitting thrifts, but I'll always be hitting the thrifts. So I don't care. But, yeah. Um... We're appreciating all the kind things everybody's saying to us, you know. It sucks that Michelle can't come out more, but she has a big girl job, and I don't have a big girl job, so I just go to thrift stores, mess around, while she slaves away and takes care of business. So, you know, this is just a video of me rambling because I don't know what to do, and it's weird when Michelle's not here, so. Thank you for watching. Um, goodbye. I'll see you on Sunday. Goodbye.